A new option for men with metastatic hormone-sensitive prostate cancer that researchers say is superior to the current standard therapy. Unequivocal big win. Dana Farber Cancer Institute's Dr. Christopher Sweeney is co-chair of the Enzymit trial. This international trial is a collaboration with other investigators led by ANZUP Cancer Trials Group. Typically, for patients with localized disease, the choice is surgery or radiation. But when it is spread beyond the prostate to other parts of the body, testosterone suppression, sometimes with chemotherapy, is used. Sweeney says this new research shows that the addition of a drug called enzalutamide, a non-steroidal anti-androgen hormone pill, improves survival when compared to standard care with other similar drugs. Enzalutamide is already a treatment option in castration-resistant prostate cancer, but this study tested its use much earlier as a first-line treatment. Sometimes we have only one shot and one opportunity to get the best drugs into patients and getting them in sooner when we're starting the therapies for the first time is clearly showing we're having more patients get a much greater benefit. The phase three trial looked at more than 1,000 men. All received testosterone suppression. About half also received chemotherapy. Dr. Sweeney says based on initial results, enzalutamide is just as effective as adding in chemotherapy and an especially good option for men who can't have chemo or have a lower burden of disease, meaning fewer than four bone metastases seen on scans. The data sets that are emerging are suggesting a clear, strong survival signal of enzalutamide added to testosterone suppression without needing the chemotherapy in the low burden patients. It's adding another drug to our armamentarium. Dr. Sweeney says these study results were reported early because they were so positive and long-term follow-up is ongoing. For Dana-Farber News, I'm Victoria Warren.